For Tyler Wright, capturing her first world title in 2016 was the beginning of a new chapter. I now know how much I can be better. I think that's exciting for me. At 14, she became the youngest surfer to win a championship tour event. At 16, she was the youngest to qualify. But shortly after joining the CT, the reality of tour life hit hard. I think if anyone reflects on when they were 16, you're just learning about the world. That's a really young age to have to cope with all of those um, pressures. Tyler internalised a lot of it. While her talent was unquestionable, for the better part of three years, her motivation was waning. Then, midway through 2015, as Tyler slid down the rankings, something inside her clicked. Glass score for Tyler Wright of 493. It's right, not man. enough. You know, this is the most emotional I've been after a heat loss. I've kind of been slacking off all this year, you know, I've been super confused on what's going on and I finally realized the difference between someone that doesn't care and someone that cares, and I care. Just when she finally appeared to be ready to take on the world, the universe hit back. Her brother Owen suffered a traumatic brain injury at Pipeline, and the emotional aftermath put Tyler on her heels. When the 2016 season started, Tyler wasn't even sure if she could leave Owen's side. But after winning the season opener at Snapper, Owen was quick to nudge her along. There was a lot of hidden motivation. There was some burning desires I wanted to represent the family. Having Owen with his injury and everything that he was going through, I think that gave her extra drive. That gave her extra purpose. Fortunately, through those discovery years, that's enabled her to find balance now. She knows when to have fun and to turn off from it all, and then when she's turning on, she's on, like no one stands in her way. With five wins on the season, Tyler's world title run in 2016 was dominant. And this year, Tyler's been building on her success. I am now at the level that I should have been for the last six years. Her drive this year is really coming from wanting to learn and improve and trying to tap into every bit of natural surfing ability that she's got. When a knee injury threatened to derail her title hopes in Portugal, Tyler was undeterred. She's tough as nails. She won't give up, and if you tell her she can't do something, then she'll usually find a way to turn around and not only tell you that she can, but prove to you that she can. She's got that character where she couldn't see herself sitting on the sideline not having a go. Tyler Wright hitting the lineup. It's going to be interesting to see Tyler's first wave. First turn for Tyler, solid with the knee brace. Another jam showing no pain. Out in front again for a huge finishing move. Tyler Wright is ready to go today, but Unbelievable, Joe. Heading into the final event of the season on Maui, Tyler's in control of her destiny. And these days, she's taking nothing for granted. For me, it's, it's uh, my way of saying thank you to the people that have helped me got here, to the people that are continually teaching me to, to evolve my career, to evolve my surfing. It's my thank you to them to be in this position. It will be my thank you to them to go on and win titles.